All right, so it's just a little warm up here. And my wife is up here with a meat thermometer. What's it say, sweetie? Uh, we're up to 113, still gradually going up. Here's the setup that I have before I attach this gable vent fan. Now, first of all, it would be helpful to have some kind of wiring uh, that you can access. For me, I got the, uh, the vent version that's just a plug, so I have a nice little plug wired right there. And I noticed that the previous people who installed this vent uh, made it super, super thin. And this thing, this fan is pretty big. It's like 17 inches. And as you can see, uh, yeah, that's like, that's like half of that. So the name of the game here is anticipation. Uh, if you can access this area right here and rip that out to allow as big a hole as possible, that is definitely going to be your friend. Uh, and then once we are installed, we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. And also one other thing that I would recommend is be sure to try to pair it with your phone before you install it. You don't wanna be up here with your phone trying to pair the Bluetooth, holding it down. Just plug it in in your garage and pair it before you install it. Plus, what if by some weird chance, it does not pair with your phone? Then you have this thing that's dead in the water that's installed. So pair it first. All right, let's continue with the installation here. Here's a quick tip if you're trying to decide which side of the house you should be installing this on. Well, typically you want to install this on the, the sunny side because it, this will be sucking air out of the attic and you want to be expelling all of this, uh, the hot exhaust air out onto the sunny side of the house. And then the shady side will automatically be sucking in this gable vent. However, in this instance, I'm actually doing it opposite uh, simply because this is kind of loud. And on that side of the house, we have a deck. And the last thing I want is to be sitting out on my picnic table, drinking sweet tea. And then this thing is like six feet above my head, kicking on. So this side of the house, even though it is the shady side and I'm supposed to be installing this on the sunny side, uh, there's just simply less activity over on this side of the house and it's just more conducive noise-wise. Now, one other thing I didn't quite realize until I got here into the heat of the moment, but um, is is uh, you see this, this beam going up right there. We have a rather unique structure to our, our house. It's kind of a barn style house. So I can't quite remove this thing, but you can see that the fan, it's, it's like a good 10 inches thick. Uh, and so I am hitting that right there. If you don't have that in the way, awesome. But if you do have something like this, try to find a gable vent fan that is a bit thinner than this. It's definitely, I, I wish I could cheat it up a little more, but, but for now, I, I'm just gonna have to situate it like this. Now with the included junction box, I simply unscrewed this little guy and when you open it up, you'll see on the back side there are two holes, one and two. Do you see that, uh, that screw that I popped in right there and then the other one right down there? And then that should simply be enough for me to close up this guy nice and snug. And then, oh boy, it just, what? Well, well, there goes the little plastic box. Okay, that's disappointing. Now, this is awfully thoughtful of them. So they provided four of these wings that can kind of situate themselves like this. So let's say, for example, you have a space where uh, you're, you're kind of leaking some air around the edges of your, your fan. You can get these and you can slip them into place. And they also provide some included screws for you to put this around there. Uh, now, the only thing that they don't have instructions on are, uh, are these curious little things right here. And if anybody out there knows what the heck these are, uh, they look like they correspond to this right here. Uh, they're not magnetic, but they do have a little sticky side right here. The only thing I can think of is those are supposed to go between the fan and the screw to maybe act like a cushion so it doesn't rattle as loud. Uh, honestly, I have no idea, but there are four of these included and no instructions, so I'm just gonna kind of leave them out and hopefully I'm not missing anything big. Okay, I'm losing some liquid fast, so let's go ahead and plug this guy in, okay? 
see what happens. All right, there it is. We can see the light up there. If you ever need to repair this thing, just hold down the, uh, the pair button in the upper left. You can see that up there. Hold that down for three seconds. Uh, and then that should allow you to pair it with your app. But as mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have already paired this thing. So now I'm going to flip on over to my app. And let's see if it operates. Oh, that is so quiet. Incredible. Oh, I'm so excited. Yay. 